Hiya, I'm Bruce for me, and this is Scotland History Tours. If you've seen me before, then you know that I always say, if you're interested in the people, places and events in Scottish history, then click the subscribe button at the bottom right. In the meantime, let me tell you a story. Today, I thought I'd tell you a story of this channel. What to expect from the Scotland History Tours channel, what not to expect, how it came about, why it's here. I'm also going to tell you a little bit about me, my team, and ask what you want from me going forward. So if you like Scotland History Tours, or if you're interested in those people, places and events, then the next few minutes will be worth a watch. If not, I'm sorry I've wasted your time. Have a great life. Ah, drink whiskey and eat square sausage. If I'm right, then by the time this video is uploaded, I'll just about have reached 10,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Thank you. I love you all. Not you, Waterstrand. You're a dick. It's an in joke. I'll leave a link to the relevant video at the end, okay? So, what should you expect from this channel? What I try to do with each video is to tell you a story from Scotland's history. If I can, I take you to a relevant, interesting or beautiful place to tell you the story. Now, sometimes the location is relevant but not beautiful. Sometimes it's interesting but not relevant. Sometimes it's beautiful. You get the picture. Where possible, I choose a location that fits all criteria and it's close enough for me to get to. Now, if anyone with a hotel chain wants to sponsor me so that I can go further afield, what are you waiting for? Sometimes our history is grim and depressing, but where I can, I try to tell the story with a smile on my face. Occasionally, there's even a really funny joke, but normally we manage to edit those out, so don't worry. What prompted me to make this video was that a lady asked in the comments section if I was a history lecturer. <laughs> How the family laughed. Not at the lady, very much at me. This leads us to what not to expect. Now, I've often said that I'm just a ball bag with a smartphone and a tripod. That's not quite true. Because people have bought me coffee, link in the description below, or joined as Patreon members, click the white tab up there, I've been able to buy a camera and other gear to improve the production values. So, feel free to support in that way if you can. The point is that the production quality should be gradually improving which makes me a ball bag with a camera, a gimbal, and video editing software. But I have no qualifications in history whatsoever. So don't treat my videos as an academic lecture. There's no point in complaining that I've left out your favorite factoid. I'm going to leave things out. I'll gloss over things. I don't start each video saying, let me give you an in-depth academic analysis. I say, let me tell you a story. Sometimes I give links to books to, so that people can go, they can find proper historian. Sometimes I forget that, which is bad, because when you click through to buy a book using my Amazon link, I get a wee commission. Sometimes I get caught in the story and I forget to do that. So, before I forget this, let me give you a wee advert. I currently have a shop at www.scotlandhistorytours.co.uk forward slash shop. You can buy t-shirts, hoodies, mugs where Hammy and Doc is going to be La Ma Live on it, all that kind of stuff. There are other designs as well. There's one that's coming up with a picture of me, a Scottish Chinese mate, a Scottish Asian pal and a white Scottish pal with a salt tire and the caption Jock Thompson's Bairns. I don't know if it'll sell but it'll piss off the races which is a good thing. You can also get videos of full-length theatre shows that I've done in that shop. There's also that link to Amazon. Now, when you use that to buy anything on Amazon, I get a wee commission, and it doesn't cost you a penny. So, don't buy anything from Amazon unless it's through my shop. www.scotlandhistorytours.co.uk forward slash shop. Now, before I tell you a bit about my background, I should point out that I meant to respond to the lady's question earlier, but I also forgot that. And when I finally got round to searching for her original comment, I discovered that the lady's name was in fact Oscar Spence. Now, this may present issues for her, but what does it mean for you? It means I honestly try to respond to comments, apart from when they're Walters. 
But things get busier, right, and things get more difficult. So please just be patient with me. When I get a spare minute, I try to respond if I can. Sometimes I'll read your comment, but by the time I get round to responding, you've had a sex change. Now, obviously, if you've had a sex change, or whatever is the appropriate term, right, I'm cool with that. I'm essentially a woke woman inside a frivolous man's body. That's why I look like this. I mean, some people think I'm just fat, but no. When I was searching for Oscar's comment, I found lots of other you guys, you'd had like a debate amongst yourself. <laughs> some of it was spicy. Some of it was great. As I say, some things it missed in the comment section. So, if you have a specific request for me to cover a specific topic in the future, best send it to requests at scotlandhistorytours.co.uk. That way, they're all in the same place and I may get round to them eventually. No promises. Also, please only send to this email address if it's a request for a future topic. So, what's my background? In answer to the lady's question, I was a teacher, but a physics teacher. My first proper job was as a physics teacher in Brechin High School in 1987. I actually met my now wife when I was working as a physics teacher. She was working as a physiotherapist in a local hospital and we met as a result of a groin strain from playing rugby. Yeah. Now she doesn't play rugby anymore, but she's put up with me through a variety of career changes. When I started doing a little computer graphics to help with the stories that I told the kids, that's when I ended up getting a job in computer-based training with an insurance company. And that is how I ended up being a financial advisor. At the age of 39, I realised that I hated that and life was too short. And I listened to a motivational tape. Do you remember tapes? <laughs> this, is, this is probably the only history in this bit. Anyway, the guy asked, what would you do if you never got paid for it? If you do that, then it doesn't matter what you get paid. And that's when I became a stand-up comic. Now, every year at the Edinburgh Fringe, I did comedy shows about Scottish history. And in 2017, I did one called Macbeth Without the Shakespeare Bollocks. It was at that point that I realised that I could take people to places that I knew were locations in the life of the real King Macbeth. And so I started offering tours. By 2019, I was a tour guide by day and a stand-up comic by night. I had the best job in the world and the second best job in the world. What are the chances? The other benefit was that if one income reduces, then the other one would compensate. And then in 2020, a virus called Rona decided that both incomes would disappear and I'd be locked in the house or the garden. So I started making YouTube videos. That was a year ago now. I have no idea when you're watching this, but I never imagined for a minute that I'd have 10,000 subscribers a year later. This is going to be really embarrassing if everyone's unsubscribed and you're watching this thinking, that fat fanny's only got 150 subscribers, what's he talking about? The YouTube algorithm giveth and the YouTube algorithm taketh away. Now, obviously I don't do all this myself, so let me tell you about the team. Sometimes my wife comes out and she helps me film in videos, right? If I don't have to hold on to the camera, then I can talk with my hands. I can't help it. Now, my Patreon members know her as Mrs. Columbo, but you can call her Fiona. The thumbnails that you see in any other designs, uh, and hopefully click on the thumbnails, by the way, they are designed by my son, Zach. He's a talented laddie. My sister Paula takes the incomprehensible gobbledygook that is YouTube's attempt to translate a Scottish accent in its subtitles and she fixes them. Now, if you're watching a video from before she started to do that, then dastardly. Sometimes my daughter Zoe does my makeup. Da -da! Uh, the camera loves you. Really important also are the drone operators who have given their services for free. Nori Forster of Airview Scotland, Liam McNamara from his house, and uh, Douglas at the Flying Artisan, uh, Ian at the Three Witches Tea Room. Oh, there you go. Go there for a nice scone. Uh, and there was a random guy that I met in Oban once from Sky to Sea. Thanks to him, whoever he was. 
Now at 10,000 subscribers, I should now get a merchandise shelf on the YouTube channel. So if you want to buy t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, and all that kind of stuff with designs and my closing words, or Alexander Graham Bell here, you might now be able to do that below the video. Or become a Patreon member or buy me a coffee. All the links are below. Now, that video where I talk about Water Strand is coming up on screen now. I mean, dog is going to be a llama alive. Cheerio and drastic.